Hello. In this video, I will show you how to solve an absolute inequality. So suppose you're given a problem like this, which solves, which says solve absolute value of 3x minus 9 is greater than 4. Uh, to solve this sort of problem, you have to recognize that there's actually uh, two solutions for this problem. One solution is you just write out the inequality without the uh, absolute value signs, signs like that. There's another solution, which is you write out the inequality again, but you have to flip the sign. And you have to change the other side of the equation um, to negative. So the absolute value of 3x minus 9 is greater than 4 is true when 3x minus 9 is greater than 4 or when 3x minus 9 is less than negative 4. And now to solve, you treat it as if it were an equation. You get uh, x by itself on each side of the inequality. So for the inequality on the left, we add 9 to both sides of the inequality. Minus 9 plus 9 equals 0. We're left with 3x is greater than 4 plus 9 equals 13. And then divide both sides of the inequality by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. We're left with x is greater than 13 over 3. This, the other uh, solution the or comes down, and we solve this inequality. Um, add 9 to both sides of the inequality. Minus 9 plus 9 equals 0. 3x is less than negative 4 plus 9 is 5. So x, uh, divide both sides of this inequality by 3, and you're left with x is less than 5 over 3. Now you can graph this out. Here you have 0. Uh, 5 over 3 is going to be, say, someplace like that. And then 13 over 3 is going to be greater than uh, 5 over 3. And now to uh, graph the inequality, um, since these are greater, greater than and less than signs, we're going to have open circles. So we're going to have an open circle at 5 over 3. And all values for x less than 5, 5 over 3 are going to be uh, part of the solution. And then all values for x with an open circle at 13 over 3 and x greater than 13 over 3 are going to be part of the solution. And now we can test our solution by trying a couple of points. Like, let's just test. Uh, x equals 0. So if x equals 0, you substitute into the original uh, inequality the absolute value of 3 times 0 minus 9 would have to be greater than 4. So 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 9 is negative 9. Absolute value of negative 9 is 9. 9 is greater than 4. So that solution works out OK. And then we could test another point out here. So let's just say this point is x equals uh, 5. So if you plug this into the original inequality, you have uh, 3 times 5 minus 9 would have to be greater than uh, 4. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 9 is 6. Absolute value of 6. 6 is greater than 4. So that's part of the uh, solution as well. And then if you plugged in a number, let's just say, in this interval, so say that was uh, 2. If you plugged in uh, 2 into the original inequality, you would have 3 times 2 minus 9 would have to be greater than 4. 3 times 2 is uh, 6. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3 
is three, which is not greater than four. So this doesn't, uh, X equals two is definitely not part of the solution. So we're confident that our solution is correct. So we circle our final answer and we've checked our final answer. So we're gonna get this uh, question correct. Teacher's gonna give us a good score on the quiz or test and you are on your way to getting a good grade in the class. If you have any questions, please uh, send me a comment um, or a message on YouTube, or you can go to my website, greenbelttutoring.com. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I look forward to helping you soon. Thank you.